All right, I showed you the rifle that Maddie was using, but now she's gone off on her break, and so I'm gonna be using a different rifle. This is also a Savage, okay, and it's a Model 11. Now this rifle right here, they call it the Hog Hunter. And you'll notice on the end of it, it has a suppressor. Now it does not come standard with a suppressor. The cool thing about this rifle, the Hog Hunter comes with a threaded muzzle. And so for me, all I wound up doing is just, just threading a, a suppressor right on the end of it. So it quiets it down considerably. It has a real soft recoil pad. The thing I like about this gun too, it has, it's relatively short. So if you're in a lot of brush and carrying around, it, it's real easy to maneuver. It's in a 308 caliber, which is an unbelievably good caliber for, it's all around for, for hogs or deer, or elk. It, that 308's a good caliber. Uh, you'll notice up on top of it, it has an Armasite Zeus Pro thermal unit. This is a video output. So actually tonight when we're out hog hunting, you'll be able to actually be able to see the video that I'm looking at through this scope right here. Uh, we sighted it in earlier and, and it was dead on, but we've traveled all the way down here to South Texas, so we want to make sure it is still dead on. So what we're going to do, we're going to be using Tannerite. Tannerite is a binary exploding rifle target. And what I mean by that, it takes two elements in order to make it go off. Okay, I want to show you how to mix it up. I want to show you this is very safe, and there's so much bull that's been said about Tannerite over the years that I think it's really important for people to see the truth about Tannerite and how you mix it up and how safe it is. What you wind up doing, you're gonna get one container like this and you're going to take this right here and you're going to tear this open. And pour it right in the container. This is a mixing container. Now what we're gonna do, normally I would not, i just throw this little piece of foil in the trash, but I'm not gonna do that right now, and I'll explain to you why in just a moment. Uh, once you have the mixing container sealed up, all you wanna do is just shake it up. Shake it up, make it good and uniform where the color is all consistent. That's all there is to it, okay? Now, the only way that this can go off, it can't go off if you wind up lighting a match to it, it can't go off if you drive over it, if you drop it out of a building, drop it out of an airplane. It's not gonna go off unless it is struck by a rifle with a bullet traveling over 2,000 feet per second, which is a smoking rifle. So this is not gonna detonate accidentally. It is extremely safe, stable, and is a lot of fun. Now, remember when I said that I'm going to save the little piece of foil. Here's the reason why. Because with a thermal unit, it is not going to be able to pick up the side of the tannerite. What we want to do, we want to put this foil on it because it will be able to pick up the foil. So we're taping it right here to the tannerite. I'm going to march down there 100 yards. I'm going to wear hearing protection. I'm going to have eye protection on. That's what they recommend. That's what I recommend. And we're gonna go ahead and get this thing set up, and take a shot and see if we're still on target. <laughs> and as the smoke clears, yeah, I think there's no doubt this bad boy is dead on. Again, let me tell you, this is a Savage Model 11. It's a hog hunter in 308. You'll notice it has a threaded suppressor on the muzzle. And right here, this bad boy is Armasite's Zeus Pro Thermal Unit. Next stop for this, we're gonna go sit in the stand and wait till dark and I'm gonna show you how this thing performs and I think you're gonna be really impressed. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, Burt Coyote's Luminoc, Shadow Hunter Blinds, Elevators, Diamond Down Thermal Gear, Ion Cameras, and Tannerite. The High Road will be right back.
It amazes me about the technology that we have in today's world, whether it's a cell phone or your vehicle or whether it's in the equipment that we're using made by Armasite. And just to think this is available at sporting goods stores all over the country. Uh, you can go online, you can read about it, you can go into a sporting goods store, you can talk to dealers about it. But uh, one thing I would encourage you to do, before you make a purchase of any night vision or thermal vision unit, make sure and do some research on it. Make sure that you're getting what you think you're getting. And the stuff with Armasite is absolutely top-notch stuff, and it literally is the greatest technology when it comes to night vision, thermal vision equipment that there is on the market today. Now we've got a lot of box blinds and, and tower stands, an assortment of blinds, lots of corn feeders. Uh, the particular area that I'm going to be putting them in the, for this evening hunt is, is extremely thick. Ought to, ought to be interesting to see what happens. Now the best place to shoot a hog is right between the eyes, but with all this night vision, I don't know if they can make that happen. I sure hope so, so we don't have to track these hogs through this thick brush. I know they'll show up. It's just a matter of can I stay awake long enough. <laughs> Well, here's what he looks like. It's about a about a hundred pound boar hog. Of course, he dropped instantly. I shot him right between the eyes, and I mean, you can see he just what an ethical shot. Now, the tools that we have available today, with the technology by Armasite, to be able to hunt at night. It, they're incredible, and you can buy them yourself at any sporting goods store. Uh, you get a hold of OpticsPlanet.com. You can order them from them. But the but the thermal vision and the night vision equipment truly is taking hunting to the next level. And uh, if you've never night hunted before, I would uh, strongly recommend just try it one time, and you will be hooked. It will change your hunting experience for forever. Uh, it's it's one of those kind of deals that in South Texas now we don't have. Uh, we don't have a hunting season on hogs because it's year round. It's uh, 365 days a year, 24 7. And I mean, we are covered up with them. And this particular ranch has more hogs on it than any ranch I have ever been to in my life. And that's saying something. But anyway, I'm real happy with this. I'm thrilled to death with the performance of my rifle and the Zeus Pro unit by Armasite. This combination right here with the suppressor on the end of that Savage rifle, <laughs> it's a real winner. We're gonna have to show this guy to you. Look at this. But he, uh, oh, look at that. Literally right between the eyes. I mean, he got that shot right between the eyes. And I'm telling you what, it dropped him whoo, 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 instantaneously. But look at the way they're built. Big shoulders, a long snout right here to root up the, the ground. And it's really gotten a lot more green down here in South Texas uh, in the past couple of days. I mean, South Texas has gotten green, and once it does so, the hogs get off the feed, and they start feeding on the natural uh, greenery. But this one right here tonight fed on a nice bullet right between the eyes. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Armasite, the titanium vacuum sealer, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. BSA Optics. Gamo Adult Precision Air Rifles. Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. And Grave Digger Broadheads. The High Road will be right back. Tannerite Brand Binary Exploding Rifle Targets presents viewer feedback. 
This one comes to me from a guy by the name of Jerry. He's out of West Virginia. He says, howdy Keith, love your show and your videos look outstanding. I want to film my hunts and I need a recommendation as to what kind of camera you'd suggest. I'm on a tight budget, by the way. Thank you, sir. Jerry, we're all on tight budgets, man. We want to spend more money on bullets and broadheads and everything else. So as far as cameras go, if you want to just video your own personal hunt, the Ion camera is what you need. It is real simple. You just turn it on and it gets everything. They're affordable. They're available everywhere. Sporting goods stores. I mean, heck, you, you can go anywhere and pick up an Ion camera. So as far as I'm concerned, for the money, it's the best value out there. And you'll be really shocked at how good your video is going to look with the Ion camera. Welcome to Rancho Bernalejo, a sprawling 12,000 acre hunting paradise located about 600 miles south of Laredo, Texas. It's the third week of October and the habitat on the ranch is in fantastic shape. Evidence of heavier than normal spring and summer rains is easy to see. Lots of water, and the grass is tall and lush. My plan is to bow hunt for an old mule deer buck. As a lifelong hunter, I struggle for what it is about hunting that I love the most. The sights, sounds, and experiences never seem to get boring for those of us that are joined together in the brotherhood we call hunting. So when asked about my favorite way to hunt, my answer is simple. I love hunting, period. This is a hunt I've been looking forward to for well over a year. In one area of the ranch, mule deer are abundant with both species of mule deer available. They have both the Rocky Mountain mule deer and the desert mule deer species. But after reviewing hundreds of photos taken with Reconyx cameras and looking at hours of up close footage taken on the Ion camo camera, I didn't see what I was looking for. There were lots of mule deer, but after sorting through the information, I didn't see anything that looked mature. This particular area has lots of deer, but so far, they're a no-show. Taking a mature buck for the bow hunter doesn't come easy. I know that. It's a game of wits, patience, confidence, and some luck. So far on this hunt, I hadn't put too many points on the board and I'm starting to wonder if I'm gonna be able to make it happen. What's amazing is this is absolutely the best spot that I could find with all the game camera pictures. I really thought this was gonna be a hot spot, but everything's perfect. I haven't seen anything with hair on it, nothing. I have to just keep telling myself, stay, be patient, be patient. My gosh, it's hard to be patient. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Walls Outdoor Goods, Liberty Safe, Oil Field Camo, Savage Arms, OpticsPlanet.com, Darton Archery, Vortex Range Finders, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. Castle Rock Outfitters and Gerber. 
If you're a serious deer hunter, you know that using scent while hunting trophy bucks is one of the most effective methods there is. And for me, I've used special golden estrus for more hunts than I can count. And like the saying, it's the smell that your buck's been waiting for. Originally, special golden estrus was only available to industry insiders. It's the super fresh premium natural white tailed doe urine with estrus secretions that bucks just can't resist. Set it up on a key wick, oh, about six feet above the ground for maximum scent dispersal. I like to place the key wicks around my stand and I put them at various locations up to my maximum comfortable shooting range. Special Golden Estrus is highly effective leading up to the rut, during the rut, and all the way to the end of the season. It's the most premium, super fresh estrus type scent that you can buy. Take advantage of that incredible sense of smell that that buck has by using Special Golden Estrus, and you'll see for yourself. <laughs> Another one of the unforeseen things that came about on this trip was that somehow my bowstring became damaged and without a spare, I've decided to finish out the rest of my hunt with a savage rifle that I borrowed from the ranch. As I headed to the field, now with a rifle, I knew exactly where to go. Back to the area where I'd focused on since day one. With the wind in my face and a rifle in hand, this time I backed off from the location I'd been bow hunting in the night before, and it's a good thing I did, because this place was crawling with deer. See them right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right there last night. Look at this. An extra point. Didn't see that when I was glassing them. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> What a cool deer. He is a beautiful deer, Keith. He's old. I mean, yeah. look how deep in the chest he is. And, and look at the hair on how him. How long it is, his black belly. I mean, he is an old deer. This is the right one to harvest. It's beautiful. You know, I'm all about shooting the right deer. Yep. And I bet you we've seen 50 different mule deer bucks. But look look at this. It's almost yeah. like he's got a mane I down know, his it's back. Awesome. Awesome. I mean, it comes got, with age. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. I mean, he's he's just Look symmetrical. Look at how gnarly he is down on the on the bases, just gnarled up. He's beautiful. I'll tell you something. This is an unbelievable place. I mean, who would think that uh, this is a hidden gem down here in Mexico? It mm. is tremendous. One of my greatest experiences. I mean, look at what a beautiful deer. Mm. And uh, you know what a beautiful time to spend with you. I, I sincerely appreciate you coming down here with me and. I mean, I know it's a, it's a journey. What, wouldn't miss it, buddy. Wouldn't miss it. As I sit by the old buck admiring him, I couldn't help but think what this old buck's life was filled with. He was ancient, and now he's mine. We later aged him to be eight and a half years old, and he's one of the oldest mule deer I've ever taken. 
All hunters face a varying degree of challenges each time we're afield. Adapting to the unknown and unpredictable issues that occur during our adventures is what makes each trip memorable in its own way. Hunting is a journey each of us take. We live for this journey, yet it's a journey that to me we never arrive. It's about adventure, connection with nature, and our souls. To me, hunting is all about the joy of the hunt. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Armasite. Ion Camera is the official sport camera used to film the High Road.